Top 10 Solar Power Myths Number 1. Glass solar panels with aluminum frames are the most efficient. Busted. That's a solid, solid no. The type of cell determines how efficient a solar panel is. There are several types of cells. With the current technology, the monocrystalline silicon solar cells appear to be the most efficient. Glass panels are more common and less expensive, but not necessarily more efficient. Number two, you can't walk on solar panels. Busted. Technically, you can walk on any type of solar panel. If you were to walk on aluminum frame glass panels, the outcome would not be pleasant. Other types are designed specifically to be walked on, like Solaris Standard and Power M Series. These are designed for high traffic areas. Some manufacturers state that you may step on their panels occasionally. Based on that wording, I would avoid those if you were placing them in high traffic areas. Number three, wattage rating of the panel indicates how many watts it will produce when it is in sunlight. Busted. The wattage rating of a solar panel is what it may produce in absolutely perfect conditions. Think test lab. Standard test conditions, known as STC, are a defined amount and quality of sunlight plus a set temperature. These are replicated in a testing machine where the panels get tested. STC conditions are akin to being on the equator at midday on the equinox with a temperature at zero degrees. So if you're trying to meet a specific amount of minimum power production, add more solar panels than the wattage rating states. Number four. To estimate the daily production of a panel, you take 80% of the watts rating times six hours of sunlight, right? Busted. No, no, and no. There are far too many variables to come up with a definitive formula to estimate daily production. Each type of cell performs differently under a variety of conditions. To have a safe estimate, you can divide the solar panel's max rating by four to give you a rough idea of what it will produce, assuming good conditions. This is just a rough estimate. Always overestimate your power needs and underestimate your solar power output. Number five. Wattage ratings created by the manufacturers are used as a sales gimmick. Busted. Solar panels are rated that way so that if a number of them are connected together in an array, then the wiring, fusing, and etc. can be sized for the highest possible output. It's basically a safety measure to make sure you have the appropriate gauge wire and proper size fuses, etc. It's always better to be safe than sorry. The last thing you need while at sea is an electrical fire because you used too small of a wire, causing a short. I was on a sailboat that went down in mere minutes due to a fire on board while docked on the Columbia River in Oregon. That was over two decades ago, but the memory is still very vivid. So let's avoid that in the future for all sailors. Quick interruption to the video. In my free time, I create handcrafted sailboat blueprints. These are now available directly through my website as a digital download. Whatever wattage a solar panel is advertised to be, then that is what it produced when tested. Busted. No two cells or solar panels are identical. The watt rating is a nominal rating for that batch or design of panel and will vary within the manufacturer's published power tolerance. Solar power tolerances can vary. For instance, Solera Power M panels have a tolerance level of plus or minus five. You need to be aware of a manufacturer's power tolerance to get a better idea of what a panel can produce. Again, the wattages are produced under perfect conditions, so it's unlikely you will ever meet those. Then add a tolerance of 5%, and now you can see why it's better to divide the wattage by at least four to get a better idea of what one may produce. That's not to say they can't produce much higher, but you can never really have too much ability to produce power while at sea. Number seven. There will be better, more efficient, and less expensive cells available shortly. Busted. Kind of. 
Technology is improving when it comes to solar, however, it's in other aspects. Think lithium batteries. The designs have improved, there is a newer thin film technology, however the foundational technology has improved very little over the past 25 years in silicon solar cell efficiency. The focus has somewhat shifted to lowering production costs. It's a very, very competitive market with a lot at stake. Number 8. Any shading will shut down the output of a solar panel. Busted! It will reduce the panel's output. The solar panel's output will be proportional to the amount of shading. However, it will not completely shut it down. Number 9. Solar is a joke on boats. It can't do much except give the captain some I'm saving the environment vibes. Busted! That's laughable. If done properly, solar can exceed any power needs you may ever have. This is an area of sailing where you are better off spending the extra money up front, doing it once, and doing it properly. It can more than adequately achieve all of your power needs. Number 10. I want to get solar panel to match my teak decks, but solar panels are not available in different colors. Busted! Technology is now available to color your panels to match your teak deck or dark blue hardtop without too much loss in performance.